All right, here I am again. I thought I learned my lesson when I bought my Hamilton Indiana Jones collaboration watch because that was a quartz movement at around 700 bucks, went up to $750. But boy, I didn't see this one coming. So I actually just watched Dune yesterday for the first time. I never saw the old one, I never read the novel. Incredible movie, just visually such an amazing spectacle. Like this is just a, such a good movie. I did not expect how good it would be when I went to go see it. I mean, I did have high expectations, but I was really blown away by it. And now I find out part two's coming out right around the time, you know, I get, there's a trailer dropping for this right around the time I saw the first one, which is great timing for me because I don't have to wait a whole bunch. I'm, I'm really itching to see the second one now, but there's a new Hamilton watch. I happened to just then like the next day, Go just check out some Hamilton watches, see what's new. And they've got this Dune Part 2 collaboration watch. And we're going to talk about this today. Man, is this a cool watch. This is not it. This is actually the watch they, they wear in the film, which Hamilton had something to do with here. We've got a prop ma master, Doug Harlicker, kind of uh, coming in to help work on this watch. And then Hamilton has two watches this time. And we're talking expensive, expensive quartz watches with the Dune collaboration. How come they didn't go all out like this for the Indiana Jones watch? I mean, they did. Maybe they just, you know, I mean, we're, we're looking at $2,000 watches. We got two of these. So this is based on the Ventura, which, by the way, I think that you can actually get a mechanical or automatic Ventura for like cheaper than these watches, which are quartz movement watches. So this is just really far out. So yeah, I'm gonna give you just my impressions of this that I just saw today. You got a, this is the less expensive one, the double XL Bright, and then you've got the Edge, which is a good chunk more, but they are both quartz movements. Now <laughs> I'm gonna keep going over that, but let me be clear, you know, if you want this watch, if you're a huge Dune fan, yeah, I would call myself a Dune fan because I love the movie. And I, I looked at these watches and was like, I kind of really want, want one of these. But I don't know that I can really pay up. Uh, this is a lot of money to ask for, for what you're getting here, I think. you know, uh, it Definitely the, the, a lot of the premiums being put on these being limited. That's something the Indiana Jones watch wasn't. It wasn't limited at 2000 or 3000 These are limited. Uh, limited edition watches. Let's keep going down. Here's the, so here's the bright... I like the other one better. This is the less expensive one. And uh, it's got Hamilton on it. And it's got this blue light, basically, that glows and is it matches the, you know, the blue eyes of the Fremen from Dune. Really cool watch. And then here's the Edge. I like this one a little more. I think this one looks a little bit more like the one from the movie. And I like this digital display they have with the hour and then the minutes below that. This looks really, really cool. It's got this PVD coated cases the other one got pvd i guess i guess they're both pvd but uh yeah actually I, I would be happy with either one of these but look limited the first one here three thousand pieces and then we've got one with two thousand pieces they do, they do a great job with the marketing of this stuff look at this case wow look at the packaging on this this is so cool we've got the i guess the atreides text or whatever text that is maybe fremen text i'm not sure going around the the case there this kind of stuff what bothers me about it is I feel like I would not be able to wear this watch. You know, it says the limited edition number on the bottom of at least one of the watches. I'm not sure about the other one. And, uh, you know, I would just feel like I wouldn't want to get any wear and tear on this watch at all. And uh, you can buy this watch right now from the Hamilton store online. I like this one, but I mean, they're both so expensive. I accidentally clicked on it, but we'll go ahead and look at it. We'll go to US here. This is where I'm based. And so we've got a 1750 for the cheaper one and then 2,500. Let's look at what you're getting on this watch. All right. So what I do like about this one, you can kind of dress it down a little bit. I don't know. This is definitely not a formal watch in my opinion. I mean, they got a guy in a leather jacket here and that is right on point. I think this looks really cool. I really like it. The problem for me, at, at least they put a sapphire crystal on it, right? But the problem for me is this is a quartz movement. And it doesn't even talk about the quartz movement. Does it talk about it in the specs? I don't know. I don't think it does. 
you can you know tell me in the comments below if this is like a I, i'm guessing this has got to be like a swiss is it a swiss quartz i haven't seen where it talks about the specific movement on it the indiana jones one was a swiss quartz but then it had a mineral crystal at least this has a sapphire crystal that is i mean the indiana jones one should have had that we do have water resistance on it, but I mean, why would you take this swimming? Why, you know, a lot of some people I imagine aren't even going to wear this watch. They're going to put it in that collector's box and like sit on it, display it on a shelf. I like to wear my watches. You know, if I've got a wa watch, I'm really not wearing it all or never find a reason to wear. I kind of, you know, find it, you know, that's my reason to sell it. So this is what we're looking at. We're looking at crystal, sapphire crystal. We're looking at quartz movement no specifics on that a little bit of water resistance a, you know anti-reflective that's nice but that is basically it you are absolutely paying for the collaboration here and let's go look at the other one i would say if you want to save a little bit of money this is not a bad looking watch i just kind of like how different the other one is right here and, you know, I'm sounding pretty negative on this. I'm not being negative. I, I, I'm i completely blown away by the price on this for a quartz watch. At least they have the sapphire to display again. But, you know, for me, this you, you're saving a lot of money just getting this one. I mean, they both essentially look like they're probably the same movement. They both have the Dune collaboration. And this one looks really nice, too. You know, I could maybe be happy with this one. It says Hamilton on it. That's kind of a nice touch. So, uh, yeah, you know, you can go with either one of these. I know I'm sounding kind of critical in this video, but, and by all means, if you're, you know, a huge Dune fan, and I'm, I'm tempted by this watch, you know, but the, for me, the price, I just can't do it uh, for me personally. But, you know, by all means, if this watch is going to make you happy and you're ready to pay up for the Dune collaboration, it is a cool looking watch. They are both very, very different looking. Then by all means, you know, uh, there's, you know, watches are subjective. So, for me, I think I'm going to have to just pass on it. And let me tell you, for $1,750, let us see what you can get. I mean, there are, you can get an automatic watch with a sapphire display for $1,750 for sure. Let's just take a look at some of the watches you can actually get for this price. So look at this. You can get the, the Ventura, the actual Ventura without the collaboration in an automatic with an automatic movement for $17.45. Is that cheaper? That's $5 cheaper than the Quartz Ventura. So that is what the Dune collaboration, again, if that is worth it to you, it's almost worth it to me. I'm thinking about it. I just don't, I just, I cannot, you know, pull out $17.50 from my stocks, my bank account, whatever, and, and to do this right now. It's just, that's my mindset right now as I'm just kind of piecing all of this together. You can get... So Jazz Masters, you can get a Khaki Aviation. For less than the price of the cheaper Dune watch, you can get, I mean, you have a huge selection of other Hamilton automatic watches with sapphire displays. Nice pieces that you can get for cheaper. You can save $500 and get a plethora of other options. I mean, so for me, I think this just comes down to it. Are you, you know, a huge dune movie fan are you a huge movie watch fan is this one you want to kind of keep in the packaging and just put on a shelf and have is it you know one you just want to wear and want something really really different uh, because for me the prices they just decided to really knock it out of the park with the price and see, maybe they're experimenting because the indiana jones watches i'm guessing we're, we're selling or maybe they're thinking hey let's put up another thousand dollars on this movie collaboration watch and see if it sells if that works while people are hyped about dune part two coming out and uh, you're talking about the more expensive variation i mean you've got just the the whole rest of hamilton's automatic catalog here to choose from and a lot of nice watches that you can pass down you know, you could pass this watch down. The problem is just with the quartz movement. You know, at a certain point, you're just going to have to replace the whole thing. They just don't last like automatic watches do. So, um, you know, maybe it's a nice movement. You can just change out the battery over time. And, you know, quartz movements are at a point now where that's not a big deal. It's, uh, you know, I really like the watch. I don't think I can personally justify it. But I'd like to hear what your thoughts are 
on the new limited edition Hamilton Dune watches. What do you think about the value here? Or are these just so awesome design-wise that it doesn't even matter? Tell me down below, and I'll see you in another video soon. Thank you.